welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's video I thought we could have a look at the new moon. The new moon that's happening in Libra. And I'm just on my system now and I brought it up. Today I was almost going to do a video about, uh, it was a request that I had on the channel for I think it was um, Uranus in Aries and I've prepared quite a lot of notes in my head. I know what I want to say there but I thought why don't I have a look at this new moon and I've been on my YouTube dashboard there are all these new moon videos popping up and I thought you know what why don't I do a little new moon video. I think it's worthwhile. Uh, I know that I haven't been, I've been a bit kind of um, what's the word, kind of like hit and miss when it comes to new moons or like my schedule, I'm not regular on the moon circuit. So I'm good at doing the monthlies. I've got that down. I know that every month and I always make time for it and I haven't missed a month and I won't be missing a month. I love doing those. But on the new moon front, I'm a bit up and down. And I was thinking about when was the last time, have I done a new moon video? I don't think I have. But the last time I did speak about a new moon, I remember it was Leo. So it was a couple of signs ago. And I remembered saying, get a big sheet of paper and jot down your dreams, I think. So new moon, planting seeds, and it was all about, you know, expansion plans for the kingdom. How are you going to ex expand your kingdom? And so when I, I've finished my day, I've finished my readings for the day, my client work. I've been writing some articles. So if you want to go on my website and have a look, the article research sec section is finally expanding. So that's good. So I've had a very productive day. Um, and I'm just wrapping up my day and... Yeah, I thought, why don't I do a little new moon video? Because I clicked onto the new moon, I've, I've had a bit of a look, and some things occurred to me. So it's happening on the 7th. Now, today is 6th of November, it's the evening. This new moon is happening um, 7th November. It looks to be about 10 a.m. UK time. And yeah, I just, I was, I was clicking up through the, the hours and the days and I noticed that Venus there is in retrograde and some things really occurred to me and I thought you know what I'll put the Uranus Aries on hold and let's talk a little bit about this new moon because it is quite interesting and it, it kind of occurred to me that uh, this new moon I, I feel it's very different to that other one I spoke about in Leo I, I don't even think I spoke about the Virgo one Sorry, I'll get more regular on the moon front of things. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, this one I've had a look at and some, some thoughts started to occur to me. So what were the things that were occurring to me? Definitely um, some answers came into my mind as to what I'm going through personally. So I've been noticing that my dream state has been very active over these last few days very very active and I can feel um, my psyche being cleaned uh, which is kind of interesting and definitely old people have been returning in my dreams so um, a past relationship kind of uh, you know had, had a dream about that a couple of nights ago and definitely with the veil being so thin as it is right now, you know, we've just had Halloween and I believe this is really the time when the veil is very, very thin. And my father who passed some years ago has been um, very strongly in my dreams, which is always wonderful. And uh, that's been great. So, you know, I've, I've definitely had um, my father's presence in my dreams. I've had, and, and the kind of dreams that I've been having, they have been positive, but I can sense um, clearing and when I looked at the the system here and I was clicking up through the days and hours and, and I saw that Venus retrograde here in Libra it just really strongly occurred to me that this new moon it is to do with love life it is to do with relationships it is to do with our hearts and how we love and who we love and I do think that it's not 
um, this is not like the Leo new moon where I said get a big piece of paper and write down your dreams and write down what you want and plant seeds. This does not feel like that. This feels more like uh, just allow, just allow, just rest, sleep well, um, you know, avoid too much caffeine, alcohol, sleep well, sleep deeply, um, do what you have to in order to, to get that really lovely deep sleep, which is easier on a new moon than it is on a full moon. I don't know about you, but the full moon light keeps me up at night. I find it really hard to sleep on a full moon night. Uh, and sometimes in the days in the lead up to the full moon, I can be very restless. But now is a great time to really sleep deeply. Um, some advice there is you can put essential oil on the back of your neck on like the pressure points that are here. There's two very beautiful acupressure points. They're called the gates of consciousness. And I've definitely um, been putting my essential oil there um, before I sleep. And I've been having these wonderful nights of sleep and definitely dreaming. And the thing that occurred to me as I was looking at this on the system this evening was that your, so when, when a planet's in retrograde, they're closer to the earth, they're a lot more powerful and the earth is moving faster than that planet and it's giving that planet an opportunity to do a bit of back and forth going over old territory and I sometimes see it as the planet is weeding things out of our psyche so anything that's been missed, anything that hasn't been cleared the planet is getting an opportunity to do that I think Venus is doing that for us right now so I also got the sense that like we don't need to write on a sheet of paper our dreams. I think when it comes to our heart and our love lives, those requests are being kind of shot off automatically. So when you have a fight with your partner, you know, you'll automatically shoot off the fact that, you know, I want to be with someone who's more in sync or, you know, I would like for me and the person that I'm with to energetically shift up a level or come together or see eye to eye. Um, and very often when you do that work within yourself, they follow. You, you do it first though, and that's always hard because we always want the other person to do it. But it really does work when we ourselves do it. Uh, I have had those experiences where I've kind of been able to make a shift within myself and see that person just just automatically come in sync. I mean, it's amazing. Um, it's not easy though. That can be really hard. That that can be tough. So if you're in a relationship and things are hard, what I wanted to say there was that don't push it. Um, don't push for change, don't, um, this is not a great transit, Venus is not in an ideal spot, there are better times coming and I'll tell you when things are better, I mean uh, you, you're going to want to kind of maintain the status quo at this time, uh, but you know better times are coming sort of January, we're going to have better transits for relationships, so don't worry now if relationship isn't going as you would like it to, um, things will get better. If you're single, feel great about that. <laughs> just feel good. Just relax. Um, you know, do all the things that you want to do and sleep really, really well. Let, let Venus clean out your psyche right now because I do think that that is the work that's going on. I'm just going to bring it back to the new moon here. Yeah, so it's, I, got, I got a strong sense as I was looking this evening that, you know, okay, record this video instead. So the plan has completely changed. And uh, basically, the thing is, just, just, just go with this. Allow Venus to really pull the weeds out of your psyche. That, that is automatically happening. And the thing about your requests are automatically being shot off to the universe as to what you really want, that kind of concept and thinking does come from Abraham Hicks so if you are in a relationship and things are tough or difficult this is a great time to to type in you know Abraham Hicks and 
what your relationship issue is and you know listen to some of those wonderful clips because Esther Hicks has such beautiful content uh, that really can help you up your own self-worth and and you know help you attract better experiences so this is the kind of new moon where just go with the flow go easy nurture yourself take care of yourself and then I'll leave you as well with since we're on the topic of moons I thought I'd very quickly discuss my thoughts on this uh rather powerful looking full moon that we're going to have where basically the moon will be in Taurus and the sun is over there in Scorpio so now I had a little look at this and this looks to me to be hang on I'm just kind of clicking up here when is this happening this is happening looks like the 23rd I hope I've got that right and I'll click down the hours Let's see. Yeah, I think this is. I think I've got this right. Hang on. Six. Oh no. Okay, it's looking like uh, November twenty second, late, like about eleven p.m. UK time. Yeah, about that. So this is an exciting full moon because I was I was kind of visualizing this, and it's you know the king and the queen are dancing. This is how I see the full moon. Uh, sun thing happening so it's it's this dance and like the king is in his suit and he like he I don't know he just kind of flings the queen out there on the dance floor and then she's just like this shining in all her glory and then she you know comes back into the king's arms kind of thing so that's how I see this dance playing out and um, now while she's out on the other end of the dance floor shining really brightly what have we got going on here we've got sun jupiter and mercury mercury retrograde happening in scorpio and i thought wow okay so it's like all the dudes not all the dudes but some of the dudes some of the guys are hanging out there in scorpio and i thought hmm this is really interesting what are they doing and i thought that like i had this visual of things being lit up and you know when things are lit up but like there's something bad going on. So maybe like someone's stealing or someone's, I don't know, committing a crime or doing something really bad, but then the lights are just automatically turned on. That's kind of how I saw this. And I have no idea what's going to happen at this full moon, but I'm kind of getting a vibe of like um, the underworld being lit up somehow. Now, I don't know if this is going to be good or bad or it could be hilarious um you know i don't know i don't know what this is going to be but i think it's going to be really interesting but i don't think it's going to be bad i mean we've got jupiter here you know mercury mercury's pretty sensible the young prince and what bad could go what, what could go wrong here the sun you know he's quite sensible i mean it's not like we have mars here or anything so um i'm not sure but i i, I just think it could be it could be a full-on full moon and uh, yeah, the lighting up of the underworld. What's going on? I don't know. So that's to be seen on the 22nd of November. But I will endeavor to get this uh, new moon video up tonight if I can. And um, stay tuned to the channel because there's lots more to come. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.